Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. Welcome to my kitchen again, another week on What's Cooking Coco. So today we're gonna do something that's a little different and it's fun because my kids love this stuff. So this will be in our dish this week. Um, they love eating it, they love snacking on it. Any chance they get, they love their hot Cheetos and I like hot Cheetos as well too. So the challenge was for me to come up with something that they can snack on after they get home from school and I think the challenge is on. So what we're going to do is we are going to use chicken. And I'm gonna show you exactly what we're going to need and how to put it all together. Come on in and I'll show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna need a little blender or a hand mixer or you know, if you have a, whatever you have, blender, hand mixer, just use it, whatever. And you're gonna want to dice up your chicken like this, make sure that they're not in too big pieces, small, this is okay, in strips. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my chicken inside here because we are going to grind it up, okay? I know that you can probably either, if you don't wanna do this, you can go ahead and, and um, purchase some ground chicken at the store. That's an easier way as well, okay? But because I already had chicken breasts in my refrigerator, I'm gonna use it. I'm not gonna go to the store and buy ground chicken, okay? But we're gonna use some ground chicken and then we're gonna get some butter, okay? I know, I know, I love butter, I love my butter, but there's a reason why I wanna put butter in this because um, sometimes chicken breast tends to be tough and so I'm just gonna put a little bit of butter to add some fat in there um, so it's nice and moist, okay? So, so that's how we do that and then I'm gonna do this, put it on here, and we are going to just grind it up. Okay, it's looking good. Right. Now that that's done, we're gonna take our bowl here and we're gonna put some of our ground chicken inside of our bowl, just like that. And if you see that there might be some chunks left, that's totally fine. What you do is just stick it back in the little grinder there and uh, grind it up a couple of times and you'll be good to go. Okay, so now that we have our chicken ground up, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna throw in our cilantro, okay? We're gonna throw in our jalapeno and I dice these up. Make sure that you dice up your, your jalapeno however much you want. My kids like the heat except for Desi, so yeah, we're gonna do that. And then after that, you're gonna throw in some good old garlic powder. We love garlic in our family. Butter and garlic is our fave. And then we're gonna use some paprika, okay? Just for color. That's all that that's for, okay? Is to give it that nice color on the inside of our meat, okay? Then we're gonna take some onion powder. Throw some onion powder in there, however much you want. That is, um, that's, your business, you you have however much. Then we're gonna do some salt, okay? Gonna add some salt in there. Make sure we add a good portion of salt so it has some good, I say about maybe like two teaspoons of salt, okay? Then we're gonna mix it up, just like that. Make sure everything is nicely combined together, just like that. So now that that is done mixing, what we're gonna do is we are gonna set that, that mixture aside, okay? We're gonna set it aside. And then we're gonna have to pretty much grind up our hot Cheetos, okay? So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take it, we're gonna put it in this bag, in a Ziploc, any Ziploc bag that you have. Just throw some hot Cheetos in there, okay? Bag away. Make sure that you get most of the air out of it, okay? Because we don't want a whole bunch of air because what we're gonna do next, and you can even probably have your kids do this part, okay? And just smash, okay? That's it. We're gonna smash it. If you wanna put it through your blender or a grinder, you can do that as well too. But I'm gonna do it this way um, because 
I don't feel like washing my, my little hand blender just yet. Okay? So make sure that it's in as small pieces. It's like that. And I think that looks good. So take my bowl. This is my flour. You're gonna need a bowl of flour, okay? Then we have our hot Cheeto mixture, and this is exactly what you want it to look like, just like that, okay? And because I know that I'm not gonna use all of this to coat, I'm gonna separate half of this and put it in another bowl because I'll show you what we're gonna do with it at the end. We're gonna reserve half of it, just like that, okay? Reserve half. And I always like to put my bowl in order let me move all of this, how I'm going to be um, forming my balls and using it to deep fry. So now we're gonna need two eggs, okay? Two eggs, crack those eggs, and we're gonna beat the eggs up. Just beat your eggs up nice, okay? Because we're gonna use this to dip um, our chicken hot Cheeto balls in, okay? And if your kids don't like hot Cheetos, I would just try to use any type of chip, to be honest with you, or a cracker, or, you know, you can do either regular Cheetos, you can do um, some of those other types of funky chips that they have. Be creative. Now that that's done and our mixture is nicely, it just, it's, it's great. This is what exactly we want it to look like. It's just like this, okay? Now we're gonna need some cheese, some Philadelphia cheese, um, some cream cheese. If you don't have Philadelphia cream cheese, go ahead and grab you some regular cheese. You can use mozzarella, you can use cheddar, whatever you like, you go ahead and use that. Okay. I have my pan also already preheated on the uh, stove top, for, you know, medium. So that's how we want it. We want to preheat our stove medium, get the oil running, okay? Because we are going to deep fry these. Go ahead and form these little balls. We're gonna just pinch off a little bit about, you don't wanna make them too, too big. So about that big, that much, okay? We're gonna just roll it in our hands a little bit, okay? Get it all combined. And then just kind of like poke a little hole, okay? Poke a hole, because we are gonna take cream cheese, okay? And we're gonna just put it like that, and then just cover it, roll it out, just like that. Because once we fry it up and we open this little baby, it's gonna be oozing with cheese, okay? So your ball's gonna look like that, just like that, okay? And you're gonna dip it in your flour, okay? Shake it off a bit, and then it goes into your egg wash, okay? Once it's dipped into your egg wash, take off all the excess, you're gonna put it into your hot Cheeto mixture here, okay? Just like that. I like to use wet, dry, so that way not everything gets sticky to it, but it's probably gonna stick, so it's fine. So then after you do that, okay, I'm going back in to the egg wash. I wanna double coat it so that way not all the cheese and everything falls apart and falls out of it. So this is how we're gonna do that, okay? Then. Stick it back in here, just like that, okay? And roll it and make sure it's like nicely coated with all of that yummy hot Cheeto. Okay, so that's one. This is how you want it to look. Doesn't have to be that big. You can make them small, okay? Just like that. Now that we have already formed our hot Cheeto chicken balls, what we're gonna do is we're gonna deep fry them, okay? And just like that, this is exciting. And I think it'll take about, um, let's say about like seven minutes to get them nice and fried. You'll start to notice that the color of the hot Cheeto will change, which is completely fine. Because like I told you from the beginning, there's a reason why I, I saved uh, half of the hot Cheeto crumble, because we're gonna stick them back in there. We're gonna coat it, okay? so we get some of that color back. All right, so we're gonna take them out. They look about done. It didn't lose too much color, and you can see that some of that cream cheese is oozing out, which is totally fine. And remember, you wanna cook it all the way through because it's chicken there, so 
We want it to be usually chicken. I think it's at 175 degrees Fahrenheit on the inside. So make sure that your chicken is cooked through all the way. Now that they're done fried up, remember, we have saved half of our Flaming Hot Cheeto um, crumbles and we're just gonna, that they're hot to touch, we're gonna just put it back in there. So that way, when they take that first bite, they're going to have that just yummy goodness of Hot Cheetos flavor on the outside. And it's just like that. Now, so we're just gonna try it. We're gonna see if it's good. Okay, I'm gonna cut it open. I'm gonna use the side of this here. All right, let me open it for you guys. Look at that, and it's done. Oh. And because I'm naughty, I'm gonna go ahead and dip it back in the Hot Cheetos because I love Hot Cheetos. Okay, let's taste it. My mouth is already watering, okay? Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Yes. This is for all you hot Cheeto lovers. You have to try this. This is so good. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is amazing. This is amazing. And that's what's cooking, Coco. Thanks again for joining me this week. See you guys again, bye.